Welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is the 12th tutorial for our friend Sky on making clothes in Blender. Okay, now uh, we need to put a shirt on this guy. So I'm going to append this shirt from another file that we have and uh, edit it and get it ready. Make it into the shirt that we want here. So, up under file, I'm going to append and I should have. Yes, this is a file that I want right here. Now I'm looking for my sweater mesh. This was a sweater that came with the original Make Human. The stable release. Okay, now I want to go into edit mode real quick. Actually, before I even do that, there this shirt has a whole bunch of stuff on it I need to get rid of. Um make you make sure your yeah we pulled out a bunch of extra stuff we can delete that whole thing there Okay. Now all this extra stuff, we can delete all of that too. This is stuff that came from our uh, Make Human file. And we don't need any of it. The only thing we want to have selected here is this shirt. Okay. Now, under our modifiers, we see an armature modifier. Go ahead and delete that. came with a subdivision surface modifier so that's okay for now we'll actually apply that to it here in a second but first thing we want to do is delete all these shape keys Okay, delete this UV texture. We're going to make a different UV texture for this. Okay. We can delete all of these vertex groups. We'll end up making a new vertex group for the shirt. Okay. So once that's clean, then I want to rename this to T shirt. Okay. Now jump into object mode, hit tab on your keyboard, <clears throat> move it over a little bit so it's kind of lined up on your character a bit. You might need to move it down just a little bit, looks like. Okay. Now we want to turn back on our proportional editing and A to D select everything first thing we're going to do is move these over a bit on both sides oh, 
excuse me, let me jump into wireframe mode so I can make sure to get all of these. Hit control 3 to get right to backside. Okay. Now actually, you know what, we're going to end up A to D select everything. We're going to go ahead and delete all these vertices on the sleeve. Get our t-shirt ready to work with. Delete those vertices. Okay. So now you'll see we have a short sleeve shirt. Okay, now I want to delete that collar too, so get back into object mode. First thing we're going to want to do is start pulling out the shirt here. Select a vertice over here and another one over here. Start pulling that out a little bit. Select another one over here and which is this control Z. So this one here. Pull that a little more. Now we want to select a couple of vertices here on the top of the shoulder. And pull these up a little bit. Select a vertice here in the middle. Control Z. Okay. Select a couple of these. Pull these up a little bit. Another one here that I need to pull out just a little. Okay. Now come around and start selecting the vertices here on actually A to D select. Go into faces mode and select these faces around here on the collar. Now there are extra vertices there in the middle. There's like three vertices there. We want to go ahead and delete these vertices so we get those middle vertices there too. Okay. Now Here's the beginning workings of our t-shirt. I'm going to keep pulling things out where you need to, all the way around. Okay. That looks halfway decent. Once you get your model around the shirt model around the character,
doesn't matter if it's perfect here yet because we're probably going to end up shrink wrapping this one we'll, we will see okay now I had to deselect go back to object mode and we see there's the start there's the basic part of our t-shirt but we see it doesn't really fit right on our body um, and we want it to so let's come under modifiers and uh, let's go ahead and add our shrink wrap oops and put in our man's mesh Okay, then we want to offset it by about 0.5. And you see how much nicer our t-shirt looks now? Okay. So that looks okay. We'll go ahead and leave that on in there. Go ahead and apply that. And we can actually remove our subdivision surface modifier real quick and see how this looks. Actually, Control Z, Control Z. First thing we want to do, I want to go ahead and apply our subdivision surface modifier and then apply our shrink wrap. Okay. Now go into edit mode and Let's jump into our wireframe mode and kind of carefully select just the vertices the bottom of our shirt here okay and we want to scale these out so s actually before we do that let's jump out of wireframe mode so I can see that we're doing this right pull it out just a little Okay, now we need to go ahead and select a few more of these vertices and pull them out just a little bit more. Okay. Okay, deselect. Tab to get back in object mode. And there you have it. Now the last thing we need to do to this real quick is go ahead and set its parent to our main man as well. Okay. And there you have it. Now our shirt and jeans are part of our guy. And if we were render it, we can uh see they will be on our model now later we'll get into actually attaching them to the armature and making them work nice like that but there we go i will see you all again soon